Hurricane Ian has made landfall in western Cuba with high speed winds roaring through the island nation. Cuba has even declared an emergency alert in multiple provinces as the hurricane gathers speed. The local Cuban authorities claim that some 50,000 people in western province of Pinal del Rio have been moved to safer locations. 6,000 of these evacuated people have been sent to state-run shelters, while the rest have taken shelter in homes of relatives or even friends. peligroso como todo nosotros siempre lo aseguramos ¿sí? pero como vivimos en la playa no, estamos casi casi acostumbrados a estas cosas ¿sí? siempre también nos vamos por el pueblo ¿sí? porque, para que no, porque aquí entra mucho el agua aquí sube el agua cantidad aseguramos la cosa y nos vamos por el pueblo pero estamos casi adaptados a estas cosas ya The fast growing storm is centered about 250 kilometers southeast of Cabo San Antonio in far western Cuba Ian jumped its intensity in recent hours as the maximum sustained winds are now at 185 kilometers per hour, making it a Category 3 hurricane on a five-step scale. U.S. President Joe Biden has approved emergency aid to 24 counties in Florida. Florida's city of Tampa is under a hurricane watch, and Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency in all 67 counties of the state. Officials are scrambling to prepare for the storm's forecast landing on Wednesday or even Thursday. The governor warns people to prepare for power cuts and stock up food, water, medicine and fuel. DeSantis has activated 7,000 National Guard members to help with the effort. For all you new Floridians who haven't been through one of these before, uh, just understand, just remain calm. There, there's no need to panic. Uh, listen to the folks at the local level. Listen to what they advise in terms of uh, preparations, any, any evacuations. Uh, if you are going to be in your home when the power goes out and you have one of the generators, just understand those generators must be operated outside the home. Authorities in several Florida municipalities, including Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Tampa, have started distributing free sunbugs to the residents to help protect their homes from the risk of flooding. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.